Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you from Team Shadow Strike, and I am sitting here with my good friend Connor, who I just recorded lots of matches with my friend Connor, Zach, and variations of, and also Connor and Zach. So it was very, very fun, and um, we had a lot of fun matches, a lot of fun laughs, and what I'm going to be showing you this time is a Beast Deity deck of Connor's that he was using in these matches, and it is a Illuminal Dragon deck, so Connor, it's all yours now. All right. So, Zach, Connor, and variations of Zach and Connor. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fought Connor, <laughs> you, I fought you, and then you fought Connor, so... Right. Alright, the first thing is, what I use is a Riotorn, because I found that it's actually pretty good with the Illuminal Dragon build. Because, I'll explain the more details later on, because whenever a beast deity in front of this stands, this also stands. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. it's and stupid then, good. well the, the the thing I like about this is if as long as you can get 5k higher you're always going to hit the another, next uh, magic number mm -hmm. so it technically is going to make you hit two magic numbers above which is really really good mm -hmm. especially when you combo it with that little thing you're going to show and then there. you have the usual triggers except for this beast dd deck I also run two critical triggers now why only two criticals because most of the focus of this deck is to stand, so mm -hmm. you still want the majority of your deck to be stand triggers. So, However, it is nice to be able to get those criticals off, as well as Red Lightning's ability to be able to unflip damage. Okay, so we've, what I'm, I'm looking at is 6 stand, 4 draw, 2 crit, 4 heal. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. That's pretty... That's now, pretty my impressive. question mm -hmm. is, why not make this 4 Battle Riser and 2 of this guy? Because although the ability is nice, I don't get it as oft as much, okay. so it doesn't really matter. You can put four of the Battle Riser if you want. He does have the nice ability of being able to, whenever he boosts, give an extra 3,000 boost that stays with the unit in front. But for this the turn. Is just, yeah, for the turn, but this is just me. So You could also use Turbo Riser if you prefer. Mm -hmm. but. Although we know everyone that... Spell yeah, it's either Optimus Prime or his retarded cousin. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my grade zeros. And then, of course, I have the Perfect Guard Twin Blader will be switched out for the God Ra, I mean... Solar Falcon. Solar Falcon for the Beast Deities. And then I also run four of the Blink Marsh. Pretty much staple in any Nova Grappler deck. Mm -hmm. Nice ability of whenever an attack hits a vanguard that this boosts, you can put it in the soul and counter blast one to stand another beast deity. And then I also put in two Dancing Wolf. This is a pretty nice card because whenever this stands in the middle of battle, it gives an extra 3,000 boost. Just like a lot of my other, just like some of my grade twos that I'll show you later. But this you can actually put behind the vanguard and stand this to give your vanguard an extra little boost so let's say you're 13 away from hitting your opponent's vanguard you can get two two triggers and stand one of these that will give you the 13 that you need well that's cool it's a dancing wolf All that's right. wearing sneakers yes did you see that he's wearing fucking shoes and then I also have four of the Hilarity Destroyer. It's not my personal favorite, and will probably be switched out whenever the rest of the Beast DD cards come out, but this allows you to trade cards in your hand to get what you need. It's a draw power. I, I think that's actually very important for you, because Nova Grappler, every, I find when I play it, sometimes I have a problem with draw power, so I think that is an assessment. Well, I don't think it's draw power. I think it's drawing the correct combination of cards for your combos. Mm -hmm. um, well, still. This helps the combo get off, not necessarily draw power, because the cost is you have to... Get off, Connor. We don't want to know what gets you off. We're talking about Vanguard here. What? I didn't say that. Don't be a cock. Don't be a cock. You're being a cock. Anyway, so that's I my I know. It was grade. an awkward moment of silence. That's my grade one lineup. <laughs> and now for something completely different. And now, here's something we hope you'll really like. Golden Anglet. I, I do four of Golden Anglet. He is really good. He becomes a 12k attacker whenever he stands up in the middle of battle. And, that card. and if you stand him up again in battle, he gets another 3,000 boost. So, so if you stand stack. him up twice... Fuck he... this card hard. 
In fact, for an eventual build that I have for the reverse Dayusha, he... Dayusha. Reverse Reverse Dayusha? You mean... Oh, sorry. Deadliest Beast? Deadliest Beast, Ethics Buster. He can actually stand up a total of three times, giving him a 9k boost. Fuck that. (laughs) King retarded. And then we have the oh, nice yeah. staple for Beast Deities and for pretty much any deck. Their 12k attacker, Hatred Chaos. Yeah, when set 13 rolls around, I'll have Chaos Breaker and I'll just nuke your board. <clears throat> and then I also have two of the Brutal Jack because he's a nice card to have. And also, oh, I run two Street Bouncer. A lot of other people like to do Mag- Magician Girl Kirara. But I like this personally because it doesn't require a counter blast. And then you can always just, you know, intercept him so off. So you run mm-hmm. 12 grade 2s? Yes. 12 grade 2s, that's above the average, the average being 11. Mm. Mm-hmm. With a recommendation of at minimum 10, which I find 11 being the better number. But 12, it does seem to... Well, it makes sense for Nova Grapplers because so many of their great twos gain so many abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because we've seen this pop up many, many times. It, it Like with Aqua Force, the more popular... the You can play less grade ones because the grade ones aren't as popular to the deck. You want more grade twos and grade threes in that variant. In this, you, it's kind of the same thing because your grade ones are just kind of like a bonus. Your grade twos is what win you the game. Mm-hmm. Mainly you being that fucking golden dragon that I hate. I hope they all die. In fire. And now on to the grade threes. Obviously, you want to have four of this guy, FX Buster. Um, a little quick message. We do have four of these for trade if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Is my SP? Yeah, and we, get, we where's oh, the yes, SP? There's the SP. the SP. Where is it? Where is where's the fucking... Where's the there SP? is the SP, people. Sexy. Glory in it. SP. Yeah, me and Connor have SPs, but Zach doesn't have SP anything. Win for set 12. Blaster Dark SP. Let's go. Let's huh. do this. And then three Illuminal Dragon. How do you find the combo um, to work with Illuminal Break Riding on top of Ethics? Do you find it working out in your favor? I find it working out pretty well. Um, however, I do not use his ability alongside FX Buster's ability. You prefer to save it for the next turn, I'm guessing? Yes. Ow. Now, if you know you're going to win, you see their hands diminish and they have no intercepts. Will you back-to-back their skills? Well... Because if you're going in for the kill, I'd imagine you'd want to get that skill off. Well, it would be okay if I had Beast DD boosters, because his ability only works for Beast DDs, unfortunately. True. Mm. So it is a little bit of a situational mm-hmm. but it it is a good combo and also um pretty it's also if you're out there looking for a pretty good deck to fight against the meta you know it, it, the thing that's nice about this deck it's not necessarily hard to beat it just eats away at hands and that's what hurts it you know or what hurts the person who's playing against it i should say yeah i mean last tournament i was in i was running aqua force and this was my second matchup and yeah. um, not the not Connor particular, but another player like him. And I I won merely because game three I top decked a draw trigger, which got me one transcore, and I drew into another transcore, and I wrote it, and then I call it. And was it a break ride? No, it was not. Wow. That was the scary part. He had five cards in his hand. I was just going for the win, and two of those cards were grade threes. So I got lucky. Well, that's why I find um, the seven grade threes to be better because um, the way I figured is you have you have your starting grade three, you can break ride your break ride, and then you can break ride your other boss monster, and that gives you four to either pitch for a perfect guard, uses another rear guard, or pitch for or damage check. So that's why I find three being good. Now, when decks, when we're talking like Celestials that require a grade three certain one to be in the damage zone, I can see why eight grade threes in that deck would be a lot smarter. But this deck, to me, seems like it would be played best at seven. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially this deck, it it can rush so quick and Mm -hmm. so early that it can catch other players off guard. Um, Because you can hit numbers that are so high that you have no choice but to take it because you don't, 
at, at certain stages of the game, you just simply can't guard it because you might be at a grade one vanguard and you can't use your grade twos to guard against it. So very, very good deck. Well, uh, Connor, quick question. Um, do you see any, th any deck being your worst matchup with when you're playing beast DDs? Usually Narukamis like to get in the way because they like to just pick off my my rear guards, which is really annoying. Now I I now I, I don't know anybody who would do that. I, I don't know anybody who would do that. I mean, I mean okay okay well okay well okay it's not my fault. Blame it on Lin Chu and his amazing ability. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Be, no, I, I'm sorry, I'm Team Narukami too. <laughs> don't be hating on Lin Chu. Yeah, Lin Chu is argue. Uh, you know, I mean, there was. I mean, Lin Chu's amazing. Um, what do you find? What so you'd say Narukami is probably your worst matchup? Well, there are a couple of bad ones. Um, Narukami is one of them, but I wouldn't say the worst. There is also Aqua Force. Yeah. Aqua Force does have somewhat of an advantage over Nova Grapplers because it is also a stand. And, well, you basically have kind of the same idea as well as them having a little bit more power. So they can gain crits with Rebon right now. And then when yeah. Tetra Drive is released. Tetra Drive, it, the fact that he gets Transcore's skill to kick off twice. Yeah. That's a minus two already you know because honestly you know the deadliest beast tetra drive matchup is actually pretty fair yeah um because the way it works is whoever's gonna go first has to survive the first player's push um because if you go first you're gonna have more cards in hand but if you go second you're more than likely be gonna be getting your bigger attacks off first so you know it, it comes down to pretty much surviving that big push that either deck can push out. Um, it, 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 I'll, I'll throw this out there, and this is, I know this is kind of stupid and it's true for all, any Vanguard match, but it's how damage plays out. It depends on who hits early draw heal triggers, which sometimes can be really helpful. bad. Well, it can be good and can be really bad. It can be really good because if you hit all your heal, heal triggers early, yeah, you'll miss them. Mm -hmm. You'll have A, guard in your hand, B, your Vanguard's boosted, or C, you'll be able to take early hits Without having to worry to guard. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, Connor, one last question before we cut this off. Um, with Link Joker now coming out, how do you think um, Beast DDs can match up with getting locked against? Because said, we've seen, you know, some of the stuff coming out with set 12 and 13, and then 15, it getting a lot. Fuck all kinds of that. So how do I you think, think it can stand up pretty well. I ju you just need to be careful, especially with Nova Grapplers relying so much on the rear guard. I will say, though, when it comes to a matchup versus Reverse Beast DD versus Link Joker, they have a disadvantage because they he needs to get his rear guards locked mm -hmm. to get that off. Yes. And yeah, and you have to lock locked, two, don't you? Right, mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to lock two, but you gain the advantage with, especially if you do it right after you ride Ethics Buster. True. So if you cross break ride, mm -hmm. if you cross break ride, then you have the advantage to get eight attacks off for sure. But if you're like me, you can get off nine attacks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Nine attacks. God forbid he hit stand triggers. Well, guys, um, in the comment section below, feel free to share your thoughts on the deck. If you have any suggestions for Connor, please leave them down there. I'm sure he'd be willing to at least hear what you have to say. Um, maybe you can, maybe you thought something that all three of us have missed up on. But um, it's a pretty consistent deck, pretty fun to play. So uh, be sure to uh, check out all the matches with it if you'd like to see how it plays. And also, if you ever have any questions about a card or how it's ruled, or feel free to always message and ask, and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Where is I do like your deck, and I do like how you did add a pinch of critical trigger.